Imagine paying $50,000 for an electric vehicle and then waking up one winter morning to discover that nearly half of your driving range is gone. Or picture this, summer arrives, temperatures climb past 100 degrees, and without you realizing it, your battery is quietly degrading, aging twice as fast because heat is literally breaking it down from the inside out. This isn't a worst case scenario, it's reality for a huge number of EV owners today. And here's the part most people don't talk about enough. Battery temperature management isn't a small technical detail buried in a spec sheet. It's the difference between an electric vehicle that performs reliably for a decade and one that becomes a financial liability long before it should. Some companies have learned this the hard way. Others have figured it out early. And when you look closely at how different EV makers handle battery temperature, you start to see a clear line between the winners and the cautionary tales. That's where the story really gets interesting, especially when you examine why Aptera's approach may be one of the smartest applications of proven thermal management we've seen yet. Cold and heat are the silent enemies of lithium-ion batteries. These cells don't like extremes. They thrive in a narrow comfort zone, roughly between 59 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit. In that window, chemical reactions inside the battery happen smoothly, efficiently, and safely. Step outside it, and things start going wrong fast. When temperatures drop below freezing, the electrolyte inside the battery thickens. Think of honey pulled straight from the refrigerator. Lithium ions can't move as freely, power delivery slows, and suddenly your EV feels weaker and less responsive. Range drops, acceleration dulls, and charging becomes inefficient. But the real damage happens during charging. When a battery is too cold, lithium can plate onto the anode instead of embedding properly into the cell structure. That damage doesn't heal. Every cold charge without proper thermal control permanently reduces capacity. Those lost miles never come back. Heat is just as destructive, sometimes worse. As temperatures rise, chemical reactions inside the battery accelerate in all the wrong ways. For roughly 15 degrees increase above optimal temperature, degrading speeds up dramatically. A battery that might last 10 years under ideal conditions could lose half of its usable life if it's consistently overheated. That's not theory, that's chemistry. Now consider this, your battery pack usually accounts for 30 to 40 percent of your entire vehicle's cost. When temperature extremes shorten its lifespan, you're not just losing range, you're losing real money. Thousands of dollars in long-term value quietly disappear. This is exactly why early EVs in hot climates struggled so badly. Owners watched capacity bars drop year after year, sometimes shockingly fast. In some cases, resale values collapsed almost overnight. The lesson was painful, expensive, and unavoidable. Active thermal management is not optional. This brings us to Aptera and why their approach deserves serious attention. Aptera uses a liquid-cooled battery system, a closed-loop design that circulates temperature-controlled fluid directly alongside the battery cells. When it's cold, the system gently warms the coolant before it ever reaches the pack, gradually bringing the cells into their ideal operating range. That gradual approach matters. Sudden temperature swings create uneven heating and internal stress, which can damage cells over time. What makes Aptera especially clever here is efficiency. Because the vehicle is incredibly aerodynamic and energy efficient, it doesn't need an oversized battery to achieve long range. A smaller battery means less thermal mass. Less thermal mass means it takes less energy to warm up or cool down. That efficiency feeds back into better thermal control, faster stabilization, and less wasted energy overall. In cold climates, this opens the door to effective preconditioning. 
warming the battery while the vehicle is still plugged in allows grid power, not battery power, to do the work. Owners who use preconditioning correctly can recover 20 to 30 percent of cold weather range loss. That's the difference between stress and confidence on a winter commute. In hot conditions, the same liquid system flips rolls. Instead of adding heat, it pulls heat away from the cells, moving it to a radiator or heat exchanger where it can dissipate safely. During fast charging, when batteries generate the most heat, this cooling becomes critical. Without it, charging speeds must be throttled to prevent damage, turning a quick stop into a long wait. This matters even more when you consider where Aptera is designed to shine. Solar charging makes the most sense in sunny regions like California, Arizona, and Texas, exactly the places where battery overheating is most likely. Without robust cooling, solar efficiency wouldn't matter if degrading erased those gains over time. Aptera's system is built with that reality in mind. To understand how strong thermal management should look, it helps to examine industry leaders who've already proven what's possible. Some modern EVs use multiple cooling loops to isolate different systems, battery, motors, and power electronics, so heat from one doesn't contaminate another. This allows each component to operate in its ideal temperature range. In extreme cold, waste heat from motors can even be redirected to warm the battery, turning inefficiency into advantage. When thermal management is done right, the results are dramatic. Owners in sub-zero climates report minimal range loss after proper preconditioning. Drivers in desert heat manage fast charging without severe throttling. The vehicle simply adapts quietly and intelligently to conditions that once crippled early EVs. Contrast that with what happens when thermal management fails. Some early EVs relied incomprehensibly on ambient air to cool the battery. That might work in mild climates. In extreme heat, it's a disaster. Air simply can't remove heat fast enough when temperatures are already high and charging currents are pushing hard. Degradation accelerates, warranties get tested, and owners are left with vehicles that age far faster than promised. Even advanced systems can cause serious damage if they fail. A coolant leak or pump failure doesn't just reduce performance, it can rapidly destroy a battery pack if it goes unnoticed. In those cases, repair costs can rival the price of a used car. That's how critical thermal control really is. Real-world data backs this up. Studies tracking thousands of EVs across different climates show a clear pattern. Vehicles with advanced thermal systems and heat pumps lose far less range in winter and degrade much more slowly in summer. Over 10 years, the difference can be massive, retaining 80% capacity versus barely 50. That gap defines whether an EV still feels modern or outdated and compromised. Owner experiences echo the numbers. Drivers who precondition properly see huge improvements in winter range. Software updates that improve cooling algorithms can dramatically increase fast charging performance. These aren't minor tweaks, they reshape how the vehicle fits into daily life. Looking forward, thermal management is only getting smarter. Some manufacturers are experimenting with immersion cooling, where cells sit directly in non-conductive fluid for ultra-even thermal control. Others are exploring materials that absorb heat during phase changes, acting as thermal buffers. More granular sensors may soon monitor individual cells, catching problems before they spread. But even with future tech on the horizon, the fundamentals remain the same. For Aptera, getting thermal management right isn't a bonus feature, it's essential. Their customers care deeply about efficiency, longevity, and real-world performance. A smaller, more manageable battery pack gives them an edge, allowing faster thermal response and less energy spent protecting the battery itself. For EV buyers everywhere, the takeaway is simple but powerful. If you live in a cold climate, preconditioning isn't optional, it's protection. 
If you live in a hot climate, shade, timing, and charge limits matter more than you think. And no matter where you live, ignoring battery temperature is one of the fastest ways to shorten the life of your vehicle. Thermal management is the invisible system doing the hardest work in your EV. It protects your range, your charging speed, and your investment every single day in every season. So before you buy your next electric vehicle, ask one question that cuts through the marketing noise. What happens to the battery at 110 degrees and at minus 20? The answer will tell you whether that EV was designed for real roads, real weather, and real ownership, or just the spec sheet.